We want to completely factor this problem. So we first take out the greatest common factor, which is 5. When we divide each term by 5, we're left with x squared minus xy minus 6y squared. Now we've got three terms, which is a trinomial. So we'll set up our parentheses for a trinomial. First term's easy. To get x squared, that means I need an x in each spot. For the last term, I know I'm going to need a y, but I don't know how many. And then the negative says I'll have opposite signs. I can put my signs in, and if I have the wrong sign, I can always reverse them. Now to get a 6, one possibility is 3 times 2, but I might also try 2 times 3, 6 times 1, or 1 times 6. Here I can see that my inner term is positive 3xy. My outer term is negative 2xy which positive 3 and negative 2 is a positive 1xy, which says I should have made the other choice, that my signs are reversed because I want a negative xy. So if I reverse them, I have a negative 3xy plus positive 2xy, which is a negative 1xy, which means 5 times the quantity x minus 3y times the quantity x plus 2y. Those would be the three factors. Again, you could have those factors in a different order, but those would be the three final factors when you completely factor this expression.